There's so many things. Somebody's trying to fit it all in. It's hard. Okay, so I did the math. About 55-ish dollars went um, to household stuff that was not food related. So that would make my total from Costco to be $145. And my total from Aldi's was 77, 78. I think it was like 77, 25 or something like that. So that actually puts me under budget. So I did really good. Um, I did need to get, I wanna say, two more things. I could not find just a single red onion anywhere, which is crazy, right? And I needed to get some salsa and some syrup. But other than that, that was the only stuff that I did not get on my list. So stay tuned. I am going to show you all what I got at Aldi. So here is my Aldi haul, y'all. It does fill my table a lot more than my Costco haul. So that is exciting. And I'll just go through everything super quick and let you guys know what I got. This actually all cost 77, I think 25. So super excited. Start over here. So I have a couple meals that need tortillas plus um, my guys will eat like egg and uh, kind of like breakfast burritos as well. So I got two of these. I wanted the smaller fajita size though, um, especially for the chimichangas that I make. And then and there was another meal that I needed them for as well. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, though. And so, yeah, I have those. Uh, these kind of go into a lot of the fresh stuff that I bought. There wasn't too much there, actually. I was super disappointed with this Aldi. I don't know if it was just because I went at the end of the day or what. But I went ahead and got some green onions. I got some grape tomatoes. These are, like, my fave just in general. But... Um, and I really like this brand more than probably any other brand out there. So I love those. I um, went again and got some iceberg lettuce because um, for tacos, my guys will just gobble up the iceberg lettuce on their tacos. Plus, if I have any left over, they'll just eat it in a salad. This is actually the first time I got this. It's um, chopped kale. It says it's great for smoothies. And that's kind of what I wanted to use it for. I had been putting spinach in my smoothie, but I thought, you know what, let me just try this and see what it's all about. Stopped at this Aldi coming back into my town because um, I had to go out of town to go to Costco. And I was super excited about these seeds. Oh my gosh. So I have just started kind of on my vegetarian journey, y'all. And I'm finding that if I drink a lot of smoothies, um, I feel so much better. But I had a really hard time finding like hemp seeds and things like that. And I thought I was gonna have to go to Trader Joe's. But I found chia seeds. Um, and these two, the chia seeds and the hemp seeds were, I would think around like $3.99 and $4.99, something like that. So they were a little more on the expensive side. But you only need like a tablespoon or something. I can't even remember. Um, so you don't use a lot at one time. And flax was actually super cheap. It was like $1.99. And so I got the milled flax thinking that if I put it on stuff that it wouldn't be so crunchy. Um, but I know working in the optical field that flax is so important like for your eye health and things like that. Um, but the hemp seeds especially are a really good source of protein when you're not eating like cow and chicken per se. So um, I was super excited about those. I, and that was not on my list, spur of the moment, but super excited about it. Went ahead and got some active dry yeast. I really wanted to make some homemade bread. And so I wanted to make sure I had yeast that was not too old because if your yeast is too old, your bread doesn't come out right. So um, I went ahead and grabbed Parmesan cheese there. I really wanted to buy like this fresh stuff at Costco, but it was $12 and sometimes, oh, I don't think I'm a very cheap person, but on certain things, considering this was like $2.29 and my kid just likes to like dump it all over, I could not bring myself to spend $12. So the $2.29 won, um, but it's fine. 
I got uh, six of these tomato sauces. I use these, um, I'm going to be using them in a casserole and actually two casseroles and then when I make Mexican rice I always use two of these cans. Um, these are the best price I found them are at Aldi for 25 cents. So um, I think they're like 39-ish I want to say at Walmart. Um, but so 25 is the best that I've seen them. I went ahead and grabbed some more rice because I've just been going through it and um, <coughs> I wanted to make sure that I had enough. I went ahead and got some sharp cheddar cheese and this is actually for a casserole that I um, make and it calls for just regular sharp cheddar cheese. Usually I just put whatever's on hand and it looks like I actually looked in my refrigerator and I had more cheese than I thought. But I love the fact that you can freeze cheese and cheese does not go bad very fast or anything. So it'll, it will get eaten. It will be fine. These are two of my splurges. Y'all, if you have not got on the cookie wagon at Aldi, oh my gosh, they're so good and they taste just like the regular store brand, I guess you could say, or like Keebler or whatever you want to call it. These are like the Girl Scout Samoas. And they're one a dollar forty three. They're so good. They're my weakness, and um, I did buy these to bring to a women's group that I host. And then um, these are my son's favorite. He calls them striped cookies, and he's liked these forever. Um, these are like one oh nine. So they're just little treats, and kind of like I buy stuff like this, and when it's gone, it's gone type of thing. When I buy treats, so same thing with like snacks. When it's gone, it's gone, and. You kind of like, you have to deal till I go to the store again. I actually got, so I actually got some cake mix. So I got a white cake mix and a devil's food cake mix and some white vanilla frosting. I always make my son a checkerboard cake for his birthday. So his birthday is next week. I'm so like crying inside but excited for him because he's going into the double digits. But I always make a checkerboard cake. It works best when you use white and dark though. And um, I've tried to use like red velvet and I've tried to use like yellow cake and stuff like that. The best combination is just the vanilla and the chocolate. So that has worked out best. And so I can't wait. I make him a checkerboard cake every year. So now he knows to expect it. He asks for it, he loves it. I'm so excited. I went ahead and got some vegetable oil. It's not something I usually have on hand in the house, but I wanted to, I looked on the cake to make sure it didn't need anything and it needed vegetable oil. I was afraid if I didn't get any that I would be out of luck. So I just got some and that will be fine. I went ahead and grabbed this box of Kleenex. It was only 99 cents, which I actually think was a really good deal. And if you haven't seen my, any of my cleaning videos, I will link that playlist here. But always in my guest bathroom, I put this on the back of the commode because I feel like you should have tissues somewhere in your house for your guests. Not necessarily for myself, but for my guests. So as we go around this table here, y'all, this is the best smelling candle. Just so you guys know. Oh my gosh. It's from Bath & Body. It's the... Wakiki Beach Coconut. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I lit it as soon as I got home. I'm like, if I'm anywhere ever in my dining room, I light that candle and oh, I just love it. My son requested some Capri Suns. So this is kind of like the Aldi version of Capri Suns. And I wasn't too thrilled about getting them, but you know, everything in moderation. And um, he picked out the Fruit Punch, which I thought was interesting. I don't it would surprise me actually. For some reason, my kid has been super obsessed with Egos. This is the Aldi brand of Egos, and um, so they're basically like waffles you put in the toaster. If you don't know, um, super easy, awesome thing. They were like a dollar oh nine or a dollar nineteen. I actually went ahead and grabbed two boxes because he's just been obsessed lately, and I'm like, well, could be worse, right? At least he's eating. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed some baby carrots. I needed a few. Um, the carrots I had in the refrigerator I knew I needed for a recipe. So I went ahead and grabbed these for my guys to snack on because they will just take a bag of carrots and while they're, you know, video games or 
TV or something like that and they'll eat the whole bag. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. I probably should have grabbed two though. I always buy organic milk as you guys know. Um, Aldi I feel like has the best deal that I can find on organic milk. I feel like it was a little bit more expensive for some reason today. I want to say it was like $2.89. I want to say it's usually $2.39. But I could have just been looking at it really fast. I'm not 100% sure. I love that it stays good till um, longer, I guess you could say. And so I always buy a half of a gallon at a time because my family just does not go through it like normal. I don't know why. So I just hate wasting. So... I only do a half a gallon at a time. My son uh, requested to have some sandwiches for his lunches. So I went ahead and grabbed some ham and I have cheese already. Went ahead and got some egg noodles. This is for that noodle bake casserole that I told you all about. And um, I don't necessarily love buying pasta at Aldi. And I'll tell you guys why. I think that it's a little bit overpriced. And so you gotta kinda watch your prices at Aldi's. These were like a dollar, I wanna say a dollar oh nine. I know for sure these were $1.09. I think this was the same price, though. You can get pasta the same at Walmart for, like, $0.79, cents, sometimes $0.99. Cents. Um, I usually don't buy this brand, the organic brand. This just happened to be on sale for $1.09, so I said, okay, we'll buy the better one for $1.09. Um, we tried this linguine the other day. I really wanted to buy the whole wheat pasta. My husband was there and I said, will you guys eat the whole wheat pasta? And he said, nope. And I said, well, did you like the linguine the other day? And he said, yes. So this is kind of what we're, we're using for spaghetti. Back here is just some cooking spray that, you know, you spray pans with. No big deal. I was just knew that if I didn't get to Walmart that it would probably run out. So I grabbed it, um, there at Aldi's. We come on over here, some refrigerated stuff. Um, I went ahead and got some cream cheese because I got some bagels. And I got two things of orange juice. My guys love orange juice. <laughs> My son drinks it. Like, if we have it, he'll drink it in the morning. And so um, this is a really good alternative. I really like the Simply Orange, but I feel like it is expensive. So this is kind of my good alternative from Aldi's. I tried some of their French creamer. I have never tried this before, but I'm I'm pretty much out of my other one. And when I want coffee, I want coffee and I want creamer. So I kind of have it on standby in my fridge most of the time, but I usually just have a small one. These were the only size that Aldi had tonight. You guys, these are my favorite. Oh my gosh, they're my favorite, favorite, favorite chips. I have no idea why. I am not a big fan of like the veggie straws or anything like that. I, if you would have asked me about vegetable chips, I would have told you you're crazy, but oh my gosh, I love these. They're so good. These are a little bit more than the sweet potato chips. Um, they're $2.39 a bag. I think the sweet potato chips are like, they're $1.89 or something like that. I bought two because I'll probably take one to one of my women's groups, but y'all, they're so good. To get like that potato chip satisfaction, they're really good. They're non-GMO and no artificial flavors, no synthetic colors, gluten-free, low sodium, no preservatives. So I feel like they're a really good alternative. With that being said, I did buy regular chips for like 79 cents. So my son really likes sour cream and onion. My husband picked out barbecue and I feel like if you're going to buy them, you might as well buy them for 80 cents, right? Went ahead and got some Texas toast. And I cannot remember off the top of my head how much this cost. But um, my son just thinks it's great when we have this, like when we have spaghetti and things like that. So I always try to keep that on hand. The bad thing about it is a lot of times I forget to actually make it with spaghetti. But, you know, we're not all perfect, right? Went ahead and got two loaves of bread. I want to say these were 89 cents a loaf. Um, I always keep one in my freezer. Always. Always, always, always. I really like to keep like three or four in the freezer. I have no idea why. And um, it's kind of like the little bit of prepper in me. I don't know what it is. But I wasn't sure if I had one in the freezer. So I got two. I know we'll definitely freeze one though. We come on over here. These are the bagels I was telling you guys about. These were not on the list. They were splurged, but that is okay. 
and that's why I grabbed the cream cheese. Grab some sour cream because we use this for tacos and I use it for a casserole, the noodle bait casserole. And I knew I had one in my fridge, didn't know how good it was. So for 89 cents, I can definitely grab another one. I went ahead and got went ahead and got these they are basically oh I thought they were like oh I thought they were like the Velveeta noodles well oh well they are well they're kind of like Velveeta I guess you could say but they're the brand they're the Aldi brand my husband and my son said they're really really good I actually have never tried it um, I just wasn't home when they ate it but um, I grabbed two boxes because I thought I had some other macaroni and cheese as well. But this will be really good just for kind of like a just in case. You always need that mom just in case in your pantry. So that's mine. What's your guys' what's your just in case that you always have on hand? That's my go-to, I swear. Because my kid will just be super excited if he could just eat macaroni and cheese for dinner. I don't I have no idea why. Just a kid thing, I guess. So this is my haul. Pretty good for $77.25, I would say. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for coming over and just seeing what I got and what I bought today. So this was technically my grocery haul part of it was a little over $200. I want to say maybe like $225. If you add in my household stuff, you're probably looking more at like $250-ish. Or it would be like $277. So I actually thought that was really good. This will definitely last us for at least two weeks. Um, I only have a family of three though, so I'm not feeding a ton of people, but you know, people come over all the time too. So hey, um, who's ever here for dinner eats is kind of how it goes in my house. But I just wanted to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you for your continued support and definitely like talk to me in those comments below. I love hearing like where you're from, how much you guys spend on groceries every month because I'm always just curious about what people buy, which is I'm sure why you are watching this video as well. So I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.